Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar where we are taking an in-depth look at our SMSF Foundations course. My name is Aaron Dunn, CEO and co-founder of Smarter SMSF and I'm joined today by our sales and business development manager, David Devine. David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Aaron. Good to be here. So today is all about giving you some insights into our SMSF Foundations course. So we are going to be at the beginning of today's session, just explaining a little bit about the course, the, the background to it, the CPD uh, and the structure and duration. Then I'm going to really hand over to David. And this is one of the things that um, has been advantageous for me having David here because he's done a lot of work in really working through the course to help you understand um, you know, how to navigate. So it's quite easy for me when I've been uh, writing it and updating it and maintaining it to shortcut over things. So today, David is going to really take the reins and, and go through the course and what it means for you as a student working through that. And he's got some great tools and information to share with you on not only how to get started, but how to actually make your way through the course as well. We'll then finish off going through uh, the pricing structure and the add-on that we've built to use it, not only to update your knowledge, but to maintain your knowledge thereafter. We'll go through a few FAQs and a bit of a roadmap as to what we have planned ahead for 2022. And then finally, uh, for those of you that not only complete the course, uh, but those who may then want to keep up to date thereafter, we do have a range of CPD solutions to naturally keep you up to date with everything that is going on within the SMSF sector. So the course as it currently stands today is now made up of, of, seven, of seven modules. So we did initially start as a six module course. We have now expanded that into seven with the introduction middle of last year with SMSF estate planning. But it does take you through the journey or life cycle of an SMSF. So we look at in the first instance, the concepts of superannuation and how SMSF fits into that multi-trillion dollar superannuation landscape. We look at the rules specifically to SMSFs, the definition of a fund, for example, the trustee types and so on. It's from there we then start to move into the various rules. So whether it be investment rules and restrictions, the investment strategy requirements, into contributions and pensions, we look at the tax requirements, not only inside a fund, but if we're paying benefits out of a fund, and then we look at the statutory obligations that are imposed on trustees and the responsibilities that come with it. So most importantly, it really lays that foundation of knowledge, which is why we have called it the SMSF Foundations course. And what I'm going to do here, just to give you a little bit more context on the uh, information that we have in terms of the course outline, I'm gonna share with you, this is our um, knowledge base on the Smarter SMSF platform, but it goes through and helps you understand the key learning outcomes that you will get from working through and completing those seven modules, what those modules are, how they are delivered, the duration, and then you can see here what we specifically cover in each and every module inside the course. So if you want to find out a little bit more, you can access this or download a PDF version and understand and go, what does contributions cover? We have spent a lot of time getting it up to date with the changes from the 1st of July, 2021. So the concepts of indexation um, with the contribution rules that we saw, the total superannuation balances, the contribution caps in general, um, the same goes through with our pensions and tax as well. So we constantly spend time looking at and maintaining the currency of information inside the course to ensure that what you are doing is keeping up to date uh, first and foremost with the work that you'll be doing as well. So it is current through to December. From a process point of view, we do run a changing face of SMSF, a quarterly technical and regulatory update. And as part of that process where we train hundreds of other uh, accounts, advisors and the like, we then go through and do a review of the course with that content to try and see whether there are any changes that need to be made from there. So when we think about who the course is relevant for, 
we do see a broad spectrum of practitioners that are working through the course. And uh, the reason why I say broad spectrum is because we do see those practitioners that work exclusively in SMSF using this uh, course. They may be being onboarded as a new employee. They may be coming into the industry or they may just have a couple of years experience. But this really accelerates the learning curve for those to ensure that you can get yourself up to speed with what you need to do to be able to do your job, whether that is an accountant or an auditor. Um, they're probably the two that we see the most in recent times. But that doesn't preclude financial advisors and power planners and the like as well. We then see on the flip side what I call a general practitioner. So this is where they are not only looking after their SMSF work, but they have business services clients and general financial advisors as well, where they may be looking to a much broader uh, set than just SMSF activity. And this is all about maintaining a core currency of knowledge. So how do I make sure that when I'm providing advice or providing the support that is needed, that what I'm doing is most current to the rules and strategies that apply today? And that is very much at the heart of the general practitioner there. We have also been working with businesses where we are developing um, content for offshore teams. So again, coming back into that, um, those that are moving into the SMSF industry with specific knowledge um, and new staff members coming on board as well. So really, handy as part of an induction process. So if you're a, um, a senior manager or a partner or whatever the case may be, that we understand the huge workload that it takes to bring on new staff members and the feedback that we have had, um, even from some of the larger providers that we work with, that they are saving a month in time to be able to accelerate these staff members on to be able to do the work that they want to do. So to be very clear, We've spoken about who it's suitable for. This is not a specialist SMSF course. So there are other providers, including the SMSF Association, that have an SMSF specialization designation and courses to move your way through there. So it is designed to build a core level of knowledge. Yes, some topics go into a greater level of depth than what others might do. So we are not pitching this at a specialist level, but you may be a financial advisor, for example, that may be a specialist, but you want to refresh or update your knowledge around the tax requirements. You may not be exposed to that very often. So we do see some people wanting to look specifically at particular modules as a refresher or catch up as well. And you can utilize the SMSF Association has their compass, which is a free assessment tool to understand your knowledge and look to some of the gaps that may be able to support you along your CPD journey. So with the course, so what do we see as the key benefits that you'll get here? So knowledge, most importantly, we see keeping up to date as being the biggest challenge today. This is something that we even surveyed a large cohort of people in a webinar recently, keeping up to date with your SMSF um, technical knowledge, be able to maintain and manage your client's work, still the most important aspect. So knowledge here written by specialists for those working in the SMSF industry. Flexibility here, and David will talk to this uh, shortly, where the course will allow you to learn in your own time and most importantly, at your own pace. Now, yes, we do have designated timeframes in which you need to complete that course, but most importantly, you can go along this journey yourself or you can kind of get a little bit of help from us along the way, giving you that flexibility in how you best learn the way in which we deliver that content. We also ensure that you have the necessary support. So we are here to help you successfully work through that journey. You may want to do it yourself, you may want a little push along and set some expectations as to where you should be if you are working through this in a four month time frame. And finally, we provide 21 CPD hours where you successfully complete all of those modules and the assessments that are included inside those modules. So David, at that point, I might hand over to you here to talk a little bit more about that course structure and the duration. Thank you, Aaron. Actually, you can go back to the benefits if you wouldn't mind. Yep. A couple of extra things I've, I've thought of from your, uh, your presentation is that um, there's no formal entry requirements for this course. Um, you're actually, what you 
your knowledge and your building upon, you can apply to your role as a practitioner. So that's certainly a benefit in dealing with your own role and your clients. Yeah. Um, you are actually contributing to the super industry and adding value to yourself and the working environment. So it's a must. Yep. Okay. So let's move. Yeah. So from the core structure and duration point of view, do you want to sort of uh, work your Emily? way through here? All right. So it's, it's for new staff or existing practitioners. If you've heard from Aaron, just uh, mentioning a couple of that seven modules and you've seen the out course outline, which will go into further detail of those seven modules. It is remote access. It's learning remotely at your own pace. So you can log on, it's portable. It's at your own time, at your own pace. Um, yeah, we've heard stories, David, of you know people that might sit on an iPad um, on a train or on you know, <laughs> if they want to do it on holidays or whatever. Yeah, but so it, it is, and and the the image there is is very descriptive in so far that we do see the ability to do it on a PC, a laptop. You can do it on an iPad. You can do it on an on a on a mobile device if you want to as well. So um, that is a critical element in in the build in our way in which we wanted to um, build this as an e-learning product. And it, it's got the ability in the terms of the modules to save and return to that point where you've left off. So yep. a great benefit. Um, we've already covered off about uh, the accreditation of hours. So you are gonna be rewarded for this particular accreditation. Um, it is certainly interactive with valid learning. So it's not just looking at a PowerPoint presentation. It's far beyond that. You have an audio from Aaron talking to you You've got your workbook that I'll go through uh, and shortly, but you actually have the ability to take notes. I don't know any other courses, well, there's not too many around that I've actually uh, gone through where you've actually had that interaction of a video. You've got someone talking to you on all of the slides, links to external um, resources, which I'll also go through shortly. So, um, and there's actually short quizzes in built to each and every one of the modules. Yes, yeah, so and it's of about course, validating yeah. that knowledge yeah. as you go through. So making sure that you're ready at the end of the module to be able to complete the assessment. Yeah, yeah. And there's links to, as I said, other resources, which you can actually bookmark and save and apply in the role you're actually providing to, uh, to your clients and yourself. Um, certificate upon completion of the course, that's important. Uh, and uh, maintaining then um, an update, the ability to keep this resource, a valued resource open. So as you've already heard from Aaron, whenever he actually presents his uh, training on CPD, his regular uh, sessions, though the information provided and presented is actually then, we, we look at it, we pull it apart and go, is there anything that needs to apply to this course to update it? Yes, there is, away we go. So it's a live, uh, course it's never actually stagnant so that's important you're keeping up with all sorts of changes in the marketplace yep. um, so that's the bolt-on uh, add-on which i'll uh, cover towards the at the end of the session and as i mentioned it is a, a it's a live breathing resource library so <laughs> you can i'll be able to show you that you can go in and search for particular uh, topics and it will look through all the modules not just the module you're looking at uh, exclusively to find information yep so won't bore you with, with too much of the detail here, but th this is um, from a CPD point of view is has been mapped to specific SMSF knowledge areas with the SMSF association. So one of the things that should be noted is Smarter SMSF is one of uh, sort of half a dozen accredited educators with that professional body. So we are and have gone through a robust process to be recognized as a, um, as a provider of high quality CPD education in our industry, that you as a individual should be looking for and have recognized as such. So we spend a lot of time with them going through not only that process, but maintaining that on an ongoing basis as well. And then we do see with other advisors, um, the need to obviously have this mapped for foreseer purposes, um, and you can see the various CPD categories there as well. And we're more than happy to talk through any of these sort of things that may be relevant to you or your compliance team in that regard. So that's important that it actually, the, the course uh, on the certificate, it's actually valued for the accounting bodies you're associated with, yep. SMSF Association, TPB, 
ASIC and for SEA as well. So yep. um, yep. very important. Absolutely. So David, let's, before we jump in, let's explain to people a little bit about the journey that they go on um, when they actually sign up for the course. So yes, thank you, Aaron. So you've purchased the course and we'll get at the end of the session, we'll actually show you where you go to find out more uh, information about the course and actually uh, purchasing it. But this is once you've purchased. So this is very important because it's all about the email login that you receive to gain access to the course. And since I've commenced with uh, Smarter SMSF, it's all about the email receipts and it's all about the communication. And I'm going further to talk about having a confirmed email address. A lot of people, when they receive correspondence from us, don't realize they need to confirm their email address. Uh, otherwise, it may end up in the junk folder. And I often get calls or emails saying, I purchased a course, I can't get, where is the login? I, I mean, I can't get into it. And it's all about, well, it's in your junk folder. So, so a, double, a double up in yep. process in essence that so we it's need to make up. sure that's done. Yep. So once you've got your, your access, you've got your login, away you go. So we'll take you through in a moment to show you how to access the course. And then it's it's up to you. You're accountable for your own pace and how you go about getting perhaps a tap on the shoulder saying, well, there's lots of distractions out there in the world. And uh, there might be a case of, well, I'm a couple of weeks. I haven't even logged in, I even commenced the course. I've forgotten all about it. Well, that's fine. You'll get a reminder to say, you could be at a certain point by now. If you need help, sing out. If not, you're on track keep going. So that is an option from the very beginning. It's a series of emails after you're logged in. So that's important. But as I said, I'm going to be hovering around in the background for you to make sure that you've got your access and your login. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's now jump into the course. So David, I'm going to hand over to you. So you'll want to now look at sharing your screen. And uh, really to go through and help you to understand and navigate what the course is actually all about. All right, I might just jump back one screen here. So this is a part of the platform. No, I can't see it yet. Oh, there we go. Yep, I can now. Yep. Good. Thank you. So once you've gone to smartersmissive.com, you're on the main page across to a login to your account, and you arrive at this page here, which is the dashboard. So from the dashboard, you'll be able to go to learn and courses. And depending on you may actually, if I, I'm actually going to go back to the dashboard because um, there could be a case that you are a subscriber for other um, products as well. So that's an indication of the other products available. You can access that dashboard and go into the foundation course directly or into learn and courses. Yep. So you'll see there the other things um, we obviously with our CBD packages, which we'll talk a little bit about later. Um, you have the ability to not only access the course content here if you are a course user, but if you access our regular webinars, the entire back catalogue go into this area as well. Righty. Um, you'll have a, a dash of uh, what other um, products you have online, or actually you can see progress of course. So I'm just going to quick fly around on this dashboard to see where you're at. So you can access the same thing in four different places, basically. Yep. I'll go through the foundation course in this link here. I'm going to open the course up. Front and center is a welcome. It's all about just setting you to remind you from a perspective of grabbing a workbook. There's slides. Aaron's going to talk about um, some of the, the overall uh, modules. And then it's simply a case of starting at module one. So you'll see in here, um, each module has the tools or the things that you can see there and an assessment. So a really important thing to note here is, is that you will watch the module and you will do the assessment and then you'll move into the next one. Mm -hmm. And this is a good example where I was mentioning that, um, you know, I'm, I'm on a train, uh, I'm at home and I've actually left suddenly 
or I've deliberately moved, you know, couldn't complete where I am. So I've, I've got questions to say, well, would you like to, you know, commence and, you know, start back to where you once left off? So yep. that's all built in. I'm going to say no. So I'm at the very first slide. You can see there's all sorts of um, information. Firstly and foremost, it is all about the presentation. I can simply click and it will commence. It's actually got an audio playing right now. Um, I can navigate through the slides. And I can also go through resources. And that's important because at the very beginning through that introduction uh, of Aaron's in that video, it's, it actually talks about going through and obtaining a whole lot of different things. And this is the outline, but I can go to the resources section. And in the resources section, I can find access to the workbook. So you've got a choice to actually view it online or download that. So we've got all the all the different combos, whether you're a visual person, whether you're an audio or whether you like to read, we've got all of those aspects covered. Now, subject to whether you're watching this on a iPad or other mobile device or on the laptop, some of these might go into different areas, but this is the reality of a mobile responsive offering to be able to watch the course. So you can see on here, David has those tabs at the bottom there that you can see the resources um, subject to the size of the screen you may have. You may actually see that as a drop menu from the top um, uh, above where you would see yep. uh, the welcome there at the, at the moment. So that's right. So, uh, yes. But, yep. but you do have in every, uh, every part or every module, you do have a resources section. And the very first item you will see is the workbook that you can download. Um, abbreviations, there's all sorts of um, materials and, and references, resources to save and, uh, and utilize. Um, and there's, depending on what part of the course you're in, it will also, they are potentially built in or for further resources to actually link off to government websites uh, and such. Yeah, so we, we will look at, um, tax rulings, we will look at um, other regulatory guidance, uh, we will include all those where relevant in there for you to go and look at and understand further if you need to. And we will also incorporate into that area where it would be relevant, uh, information about uh, documentation. So sample documents, it might be around the smarter SMSF pension documents or the SMSF trust deed, because we are referencing those at a particular point in time in the course. All right, so if I um, move through some of the slides, you can see where it will have a series. Uh, and as I said, there's a, an actual audio playing through uh, in each and every slide. And you can see where there is that interaction learning where it will actually have a mini quiz uh, to just reinforce your, your learnings. And, and that's a really important thing, David, here, because when we built this, it was about it's no point just sort of scooting through and then getting to the end of the session and doing your assessment and going, have I actually learnt anything or not here? So there are, subject to the size of the module, um, there will be two, three or four little quizzes like this that will validate the learning that you have done so far in that particular module. All right, so I can move through to the end of the, the slides and it's then, uh, a, there is a, a review at the end of the uh, each and every module. Um, the workbook will also contain a bit of a summary to get you thinking, going back through your notes before attempting the CPD quiz at the end of, of each session. The quiz will give you uh, two attempts, um, up to five to potentially eight questions, uh, depending on what module it is. Um, and uh, as I said, if you if you don't get the uh, the quiz right, you can have another attempt. There's a series of different questions, so you may not get the same question again. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's we did that important. we did that deliberately. So it sounds a bit sinister, but it, but it is. Yep. It's about validation of learning to say, well, if I had to get eight questions right in that in that case, and I only got six, well, we're not going to throw the exact same questions in again for you. So typically, to give you a bit of an understanding, if there was a you need to answer five, you're probably going to have a pool of 10 there. Um, so you'll get two or three that you may have to answer again, and you're going to get two or three that you may not have seen the first time. All right. Um, you can see there's a, a bit of a time limit, so um, don't get put off by that. It's If you've got your notes, um, it is 
it's very easy. It's as a, and as a, as a course overall. So it's actually, go, the course is actually going to, um, you're actually going to have a bit of fun with it. It's actually a great learning experience, especially with, with Aaron guiding you as a coach uh, on all different sorts of, uh, of topics. So um, uh, you'll find that you'll, it's probably, you know, in terms of the time, um, it's it's too it's 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 a large amount actually. Yeah, and, and we so, see, yeah. like I said, the other thing that we've been talking to users about is is that you know, the, as a staff member, you can go through and you can be working on all this, and then something might not gel. So a question might be fired through to us, or you go back and you talk to your manager about it, and then the manager or the partner, whoever it is, can then really go down and drill down with you on that. So it's. It's getting the utilization of time here, most importantly, we think the right balance, whereby you're getting more information than what your manager or something might have been able to give you to get you onboarded. But the manager is getting back some of their time to be able to keep stuff moving, but ensuring that you're getting as much value as you can, as you can, but having them there to support you where you may have questions and issues around particular pro um, is um, okay. topics as well. All right. So once you've finished the quiz, it actually will give you a result uh, out of, you know, if there were seven questions out of out of seven, and it will automatically drop into the next module to uh, to commence. Um, as a extra, there are links within pages to um, to support, and one particular useful area is the knowledge base. And here, of uh, something I've already prepared, prepared earlier, earlier. <laughs> uh, and so uh, there's a couple of um, important documents here and this is something I've, uh, I've, I've worked on um, of actually going through and um, and, and uh, completing the course and that is a course guide and that is from A to Z all about the commencing this is an example of the uh, the welcome email right through to how to log in finding the extra resources so you would have right. seen these as we've been working through today that David's been taking us through there's actually a, a change log. So it's important to validate that email address for other benefits. So it's not just the course of getting access to your login, but getting on our automatic um, newsletter that goes out that Aaron um, distributes. And if there's any changes to the course, that's in the newsletter as well. So that's important. Mm. So any, not just, we, yeah. yeah, so we had fairly comprehensive changes to a number of modules from the 1st of July, 2021 around contributions, mm. Um, the changes to six member funds and so forth. So if you're working through the course and then there are updates, you then can use that change log to go back and go, well, actually, what do I need to go back and update my knowledge on? Um, because there's been changes into module three there, for example, around the eligibility to make a contribution. We've updated the workbooks around total super balance, around work test exemption, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, and you might say to myself, well, I, actually I'll go through and, and watch that again, or no, I only need to um, update a couple of slides and, and I'm, I'm good to go. So that knowledge base is automatically available a part of the learning suite. So you've got access to that. Um, and I strongly suggest to, uh, to explore that. Um, it will take you through all the different aspects of the modules, the quiz and the navigation and accessing the resources as well. So, so your login to this gives you access to the entire Smarter SMSF platform. So um, you would have seen potentially some color change there as well in some of the screenshots that David had. This is all about giving you a single entry point into the platform and then subject to the products and services that you use, you can see there, um, it can then take you back to our main dashboard if you want to order documents and so forth as well. So um, it takes you across to the knowledge base. Uh, it gives you access to your profile and so forth. So it is a, this is our platform that provides both combinations of learning and the documentation that you need um, around your SMSF client work. All right. Anything else, David, to add off the back of that with the uh, platform? No, no, no. That's right. It's, All right. You're right to go back to the slides. Cool. All right. So I will jump back to there. All right. So, David, I might get you to talk through a little bit about the, the pricing, I guess, from a course and updates point of view, and then I'll have a bit of a discussion about the enterprise uh, pricing as well. 
So first and foremost, it's about the, the course. Um, and you can see that the access, which we actually haven't mentioned, is uh, valid for four months to uh, open to complete the course. So that's at that beginning point when you log in uh, to set that up to say, well, okay, during that journey, do I need reminders? Or I'm pretty uh, uh, committed to and, and, and through each of my activities during the day to be able to set time and be able to get into and complete the course. So um, it is a, a total of $600. Um, I've completed a number of other courses in the marketplace and that's very, very good in terms of um, the pricing point. Um, there is also, as, as we've mentioned, the, the ability to keep that course open beyond the four months as a open resource. And that's what the, the course add-on will do for you. Um, enterprise. Yeah, and that, yeah, so I guess just to finish off that bit there, the update, um, and, and we mentioned through there is that it, you people will do the switch at some point where you go, well, this has been a great tool to learn and up, increase my knowledge with, but now what I might want to do is switch this into a resource to keep me going on an ongoing basis. And that's where we, that based upon that feedback and information, we've then provided a, an annual subscription in essence that gives you ongoing access. So if we do make changes, if we add additional modules, you then get the benefit or the uplift of, of those particular changes. And one of the things that we have done with the course based upon the way it's being developed is we have the ability ultimately to offer it in an enterprise environment. So uh, whether it's been white labeled um, or just available in a larger sense for um, organizations, we have um, those available to do. So we do use this with um, the entire BGL team. So it gives you some context um, as to um, you know, the type of organizations that, that utilize this um, and the fact that you know, Doug, who heads up the um, support area, the fact that you know, he says, we feel like we've gained a month compared to when we've used other courses. And in a business like that, that has you know, uh, 8,000 plus firms that use that product to be able to support their front end support team in particular um, is a huge advantage to them. And so we've got a uh, internal uh, product for them to be able to use. So in essence, it's been white labeled onto their own learning management system. Uh, and then we, of course, maintain all the updates and so forth with them. And we've done a similar thing with um, TOA, which uh, the AB2 Institute uh, also incorporates TOA now as their education solution. But we've provided this course to a number of um, staff TOA employees that uh, work specifically in SMSFs and the demands that they needed for um, their clients to be able to provide that SMSF support services. So this is really available for... Um, you know, custom solutions for those that are going to have 20 or more users. Ultimately, where we would look at delivering um, some white label branding, there's obviously an associated cost um, to doing something like that. But if you're a licensee or a larger organization that may want to utilize it in this sort of enterprise format, we can do so. You would need to then be having some form of self-hosted learning management system. But we also have the ability to you know, have individuals added to our own platform if they want to work through that way. And we do that with a number of clients um, as well. Uh, as I mentioned, all the content updates are logged so that you have a full record for compliance purposes if you need to see not only what has changed, but who has done what. We are regularly having to send reports back and information as to um, staff have gone through and completed it or have they not and what are the issues with the assessments and so forth. And obviously there would be a level of white label priority support um, as and when is needed as well. So David, I might get you to maybe fire some questions at me here if you want to add any comments to these as well. Yeah, thank you, Aaron. Um, two people, or one person's got to log in. Can I actually share that login with another person? And we'll, uh, if they both complete the course, uh, how many CPD certificates can we uh, provide? Can we, can we do that? Yeah, yeah. so we, we don't police um, and we recognise that, you know, passwords and, and logins and stuff might go around an organisation. But if one person, whoever that person is that purchases the course, will be the person that is issued the CPD certificate for completion. So we have organisations that might buy one and they may use it as part of their internal training. 
um, and it may get looked at by two, three, five, ten people. The reality is, is again, we will only issue it for that one person. So if you do want CPD awarded for multiple people, you should be speaking to us about some sort of group um, discount that would enable access. And each of those individuals can go through and complete the relevant CPD assessment for that course and then be awarded their CPD certificate as well. If I'm working through the course, Aaron, and suddenly I realise it's three and a half months have gone by and I'm only up to the fourth module, um, what, what happens there? Do I uh, just keep working and it's going to allow me to go through that uh, four month period? Yeah, so the, the most important thing to remember here is you have four months to complete. Now, just because you get to the end of four months, the automation here is ultimately going to cut you off. But if you talk to us and tell us why we know, you know the challenges of COVID the last few years and, and a whole range of other reasons why people may not be able to complete it at that time, just get in contact with us and we will be happy to um, extend for you know short periods of time. We're not here to be giving you 12 months or more, you know, ultimately, but we will be, um, we are compassionate ultimately uh, to give you some additional time to go through and work through those things. But equally, we do say to you that it may then be worthwhile contemplating use of the annual add-on update that would give you access beyond what would be that four month time frame as well. Again, it moves it from just being learning about a course to potentially becoming a resource as well. And how do I get in contact with Smarter SMSF? Yeah, so from that point of view, through the course, you have the ability to email. So there are a couple of options through the course to be able to um, contact us. And then obviously you can get in contact with us generally through our ticketed support system. Um, online and we also have that on the platform where you can log a ticket with us to be able to um, have one of our team members come back to you so it's it can be email it's support at smartersmsf.com um, and we do also have the ability to have live chat um, that at certain points of the day um, that may be available to use as well Righty. if um, i complete each module do i get a certificate for each one or you do and when do i get those yeah so you need to complete each and every module and the assessment in each and every module. And after all of those boxes have in essence been ticked, back on the main page of the course having been completed, it will now show a CPD certificate for you to download. And it will update your profile information to ensure that you've got access to it. Uh, I, I think we've already seen the answer to the next question already the, yep. on the very first slide about uh, being... Um, December, uh, yes. so it is absolutely uh, current at this at this stage. Um, look, if um, I think I don't really need to do all those seven modules, can I purchase individual modules, for example? Uh, yeah, so we are in the process of having um, that available for people to really use it as a top up of knowledge. Uh, so what we will be having available is um, you to go, okay, well, I want to purchase module five on taxation of SMSFs. Uh, and you'll be able to go through and complete that. And then you will naturally be awarded an individual CPD certificate for that part of the course that has been completed. So um, they, we expect those to be available shortly. Um, and what I will note is that obviously those individually um, are going to cost more than what it would be as a complete course. Um, but, you know, again, it's subject to the level of... Um, uh, knowledge that people would want to work through and naturally subject to the length of the different modules, they are going to have different levels of CPD awarded. So if I go back to that tax module, it is about or up to five hours to complete. So there is five hours of CPD that would be awarded with that module as opposed to one and a half in the first module. Uh, I've got a new starter joining the business very soon. Uh, this is ideal for them to, uh, to put them through this course. And there's another uh, team member who uh, would like a bit of a refresher of knowledge um, is the multiple discounts as a, as a result of those. Yeah, so I guess, you know, if you have multiple staff, um, we're more than happy to um, look at the pricing of the of courses and or modules there. Um, all we would suggest that you do is get in contact with us. We obviously... Um, we are looking at it on a group level basis. So think about 
um, how we might offer discounts on a, on a group basis as opposed to individual basis there. So um, we've got all the information there around the course outline, which we um, showed you before. I guess, you know, the long and the short of it is, is if you're unsure, if, you, if the information that we have on our site um, is, is insufficient to help you make that decision, having watched um, you know, a webinar like we have put on today for you, get in contact with us, have a chat to David, um, and we'd be more than happy to have a discussion with you about uh, the approach and, and potential pricing that may be available if you do have multiple individuals within an organisation that may want to um, take advantage of the course. So what I thought we'd do as we get to um, the end of today's session is just to give you a little bit more of a roadmap as to what we have set out for the 2022 calendar year. So as we've just mentioned, we are looking to um, modularize the existing course. So you'll be able to purchase individual modules um, rather than uh, having to buy the entire course. Uh, the other thing that we are currently um, reviewing and, and looking at and keeping a very close eye on are some updates to the course based upon the proposed changes with the government from the 1st of July 2022. And if there are any further expected changes as a result of the federal budget, which naturally is going to be impacted by the federal election this year as well. And then all roads are ultimately going to lead to our SMSF day events, which we will be running face to face for the first time in a couple of years. Um, and they will be between the middle of July through to August in five capital cities, Melbourne, Sydney, uh, Adelaide and Perth, hopefully by that time. But from the course point of view, we are looking to add some additional modules uh, so we are looking to break out and spend a bit more time looking at the topic of limited recourse borrowing arrangements as we are in the topic of insurance. So they are two that we've had a bit of um, feedback on or uh, information that people would like to find out more about. So they are on our radar as we move into the uh, best part of 2022. So David, what do people... Um, also need to know, I guess, beyond the course around what Smarter SMSF can, buy, can provide on an right. ongoing CBD training basis. Yes, well, um, you've just had a slide that basically covered quite a lot of that, actually, about yeah. um, all the different uh, activities that are uh, coming up, uh, both uh, through the virtual environment and the live environment. So um, there is, uh, it's, it's all about that ongoing education. Um, the knowledge doesn't stop. It's all about building upon that so you can apply it to your everyday role. So there are a number of uh, different types of um, learning uh, training subscriptions that are available uh, covering anything from you know, six to 15 hours of CP accredited CPD uh, per calendar year. Um, it's an, perhaps an idea also very soon to actually look at our, our training calendar, see how we've broken that down into different types of learning, mm. um, which we'll have a look at very shortly. Uh, we've already covered that there's going to be a return to potentially face-to-face -face, uh, learning uh, through the, uh, the second half of this year. Uh, there are a number of complimentary webinars. And in fact, only last week, Aaron uh, presented uh, to um, over 300 people, uh, which was uh, his uh, top five strategies for 2022. Yeah. And, that, uh, and that's available on the site. Um, if you didn't see it, you'd be able to go to our blog and, and um, yep. watch that at, at any point in time. Yep. So that's at uh, smartersmsf.com and simply scroll down towards the bottom of the page to see all of those um, uh, previous uh, presentations. Um, blog posts, newsletters, I mentioned that already in the presentation about getting uh, your email confirmed. So you actually got an, uh, basically communication from us of those events that are coming up that uh, might be, uh, you might be able to utilize um, and uh, or virtually um, enroll with. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's pause and move to the calendar. Yeah. So if I, uh, I might just bring that up here quickly. So on our site, we have a complete list of training that we have scheduled. So you can go into CPD training and then obviously the events and that will list that uh, range of events. So David, I'll let you take over there. 
if you want right, to so explain these, that a little bit further. Yep. So in fact, I can you uh, if I got control to re just reverse back up and actually click on the download of yep. the, or, or actually view the uh, the training calendar. So uh, something new for 2022, uh, Smarter SMSF has uh, made it a lot simpler to uh, choose something that's relevant for your activities and your um, your knowledge. Uh, you can see how there are going to be promotional webinars. Uh, with the yellow, you've got face-to-face -face events, which uh, we mentioned about uh, returning to face-to-face -face there, the, uh, the crimson. Um, you've got the product, which is uh, potentially a, a, a combination of something new that we're actually releasing to the marketplace, as well as uh, some technical aspect potentially built into uh, to the framing of those uh, presentations and yes, if you, yes. Yep. so David just to, I might just add to that because I think that you've raised a really good point there uh, one of the things that we have spent a lot of time over the last few years in particular obviously is our SMSF documentation and the platform that sits around it and um, one of the reasons why we did that in the first instance was this uh, requirement for people to go, well, you know, we need to know what we need to know. And Aaron, you do a fantastic job in being able to teach and train us, but how do we actually implement this? And this is where we then, um, this idea was born about building out the document platform. So this is kind of the next bit, right? It's where you go, well, okay, so let's look at a technical issue. We've got documentation that supports that issue now. So let's actually provide you with some training that actually brings those two things together. So um, you'll see that these are going to be quite common throughout the year because we are going to be um, looking at and featuring integrations. We're going to be looking at and featuring um, documents that we're releasing and other products that we would be um, putting in play as well. So. Um, as David said, they, we have a CBD suite that forms part of our CBD packages. We ha will have our face-to-face -face events that we're running or we're being a part of. Um, and then we will throughout the year run a range of promotional type things, whether it's be top five strategies or budget updates and so forth, just to make sure that you're coming back to us and understanding what's actually happening in the industry and, and how we play a role in, in maintaining that currency of knowledge for you. And it's, virtually packed out because it's only a six month calendar at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so correct. It's a moving, moving beast. Um, yep, so um, something to uh, continually uh, check up on. So that with that sort of knowledge, uh, going back then to the event page, you can quite easily identify with the event you want to enroll with. So um, you can actually click on, yeah, the, for yep. example, the uh, SMSF deductions or risk management and see that what is actually going to be presented. Yep. Uh, if you are already a subscriber to one of the learning packages, then you will be automatically uh, invited uh, into Enroll. this particular yep. event, enrolled. Uh, or if you like, you can actually purchase, um, if it is that type of event, uh, the, uh, the place to receive the recording and attend. Yep. Um, it really depends on you know that color uh, of what type of event it is. It, it, as I said, it could be a, like last week's. It could be a free event. Um, so simply put your name, email address, and you're enrolled. Yep. Yeah. And that's the difference there. You'll see the ability to purchase or register um, versus so that that will require an actual product purchase um, as opposed to. Um, if you're invited to one of our product demos or something which are free, you'll see the registration link um, there that will enable you to do so. So, um, so with that theme of yeah, maintaining your knowledge, what's next after completing the course? Yep, it's a huge, wide-ranging world of information. So uh, <laughs> you've got the choice to uh, then pick what's suitable, where, and you know what's uh, you need that knowledge to apply to your role uh, in one aspect. So um, it's yep. it's going to be it's made pretty easy for you. Yeah. So as we wrap up today, um, you know, if you'd like to find out more about the SMSF Foundations course or any of the other products that we generally have, um, we encourage you in the first instance to go to our website, smartersmsf.com, go to the course page. You can either go straight to the URL or you'll find it in the navigation under the CPD training at the top of the page. 
And David, you're there just to answer questions as you are day in, day out, if people would like to find out more um, about the course or our other products and services. So how can they get in contact with you? Exactly. You've got my details on the screen. Um, there's phone, email, uh, or through the, the website itself. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. And yep. uh, I will uh, get back to you um, within... Yeah, within half a business day usually. If uh, yeah. and it's yeah, you can or if in fact even with the newsletter, if you are uh, um, completing that, there's there's options in filling out um, to extend to say, well, I'm interested in the foundation course, and I can uh, respond to you directly about that. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So thank you everyone for being a part of today's session around our SMSF Foundations course. I hope you found. Uh, the session valuable, gave you some real insight into the product that we've built here that is, uh, again, helping you to uh, best navigate and equip yourself to be successful in the area of self-managed super funds. Uh, thank you once again, and we look forward to you hopefully joining us at an event in the near future. Take care and bye for now.